Hey guys, it's myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Now today I want to talk about iOS 16. Finally, we have some news in regards to what to expect with Apple's next major OS. It isn't a whole lot, but it is something and I wanted to share that information with you guys. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, Mark Gurman, you guys already know, is one of the most reliable sources in the industry. And this past weekend, he shared with us some information in regards to iOS 16 as well as iPadOS. The first thing I want to talk about is iPadOS briefly because he mentions that iPadOS will get a redesigned app switcher, whatever that means. I'm not sure exactly what that could be. Now, now, the iPad app switcher is similar to the iPhone's app switcher. Yes, it does uh, have additional elements, but it isn't too much of a difference. Now, Apple, hopefully this year, will have iPadOS evolve into its own thing, and hopefully it won't look as similar as iOS, right? We already have computer chips inside of iPads. It's time for iPadOS to evolve. Anyway, the only thing we know about iPadOS is that we'll have a redesigned app switcher. Now, he also mentions that the iPhone, alongside the Apple Watch, will get health and fitness upgrades now this could be better integration with Apple watch maybe new workout sessions will be integrated within iOS 16 which is what I'm expecting here uh, but again nothing specific just health and fitness upgrades are coming with iOS 16 now you guys might have heard that Apple is working on a VR headset now a VR headset or VR or AR headset could be something that Apple could announce at this event believe it or not it's something that Apple has been working on for quite some time and Tim Cook has gone publicly and said that he all in for VR and Apple did invite a handful of people to WWDC for a physical session could this be it could this be the year where Apple announces the VR headset Mark Gurman mentions that uh, early builds of iOS 16 reference this ROS right the uh, reality OS that could be uh, maybe debuted at WWDC this year this isn't a guarantee this is just something he put out there as a possibility or that could be something that Apple could preview at this this event and in the future have developers continue to work on the software in order to bring apps and things like that after iOS 16 launches but the bigger news is within notification and uh, this is one that I've been looking forward to the most if Apple would go with a design similar to this one here where you can just tap into one of the icons see a preview of your notifications and sort of swipe through them and then just dismiss them like so it would be a lot nicer to have your notifications but he mentions Mark Gurman mentions that iOS 16 we'll get notifications upgrades now whatever that means hopefully we'll see a better notification system for ios however he does mention that there won't be no redesigns so obviously ios has remained the same forever i want to say ios 7 was the biggest change in ios history but as of right now it looks like the operating system will remain the same unfortunately we won't see any additional home screen redesign i was hoping maybe to have the app library feature right here on the dock similar to iPad OS. I'm hoping for a smaller widgets on the home screen with interaction. No mention of that as of yet. He just mentions the actual design of the software will remain the same, I guess, aesthetically. But yeah, the biggest news here is that we'll get a redesigned notification system within iOS. You may remember we heard this for iOS 15 last year. It didn't happen. Maybe this will be the year for the new notification system within iOS, which I'm hoping it looks something very, very similar to this. And there you guys have it. That is everything we know so far in regards to iOS 16. Let me know what you think. Again, iOS 16 is approximately two months away, so I'm super excited for Beta 1, which will most likely be debuted on june 6 wwdc this year as per usual thank you for watching let me know what you think about this information guys and i'll see you on the next one peace